Okay, let me see what new moves I have because I have no idea. Yeah, I remember that. Ah, it's true, I can make them. Okay. I can do that, I remember that. I can charge the... Okay. I had forgotten so much shit. I cannot believe it. Let's see. Stormbolt? <laughs> That's not news to me. Fire Gortas. Okay. Uh, yeah, now I remember. Much. And more shall come. Hello, Correneta. Look at them. They are all like that. So, why must you keep bothering me? <laughs> My audience with the king could begin at any time. Yeah, Gorronet. Or Gorronet. Tell me what King did. He is the most beautiful of us. Yeah. A being of absolute perfection. <laughs> it is a shame he must grace the mortal realm in a physical form. His true brilliance is beyond you. <laughs> yeah, hello, Waka. Waka. Yeah, hi, King Tit. <laughs> uh. Tell me about you, Goronet. I spent many seasons wandering the wood of the Shi, acquiring the knowledge necessary to better serve the summer court. But does Tatarian care? <laughs> Never. Such groveling is beneath me. Such spectacles of royalty and procedure. I may be able to wait an eternity for an audience, but the untended garden grows wild. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Uh, yeah, I will be streaming a lot today into tomorrow. So you have hours and hours of entertainment left. Okay, tell me about this place. I remember a cycle, a great many seasons, when your kind did not trample the gardens of Issa. This city was the ideal in those times. It is forever tainted now. Yeah, forever tainted. Can you say that the High King was such a marvelous ruler that nothing happened under his... Leadership, well, there you go. Everything is tainted. It's because he's an idiot. Uh, don't the cut. They make up the most powerful body in the world, especially now that the mortal races have become embroiled in conflict. A second spring is coming, mark my words. This man is so blind. Yeah, he's a blind side <laughs> While all the other fairies are sensing the decay, he is completely... Yeah. Predicting the other way around. Everything is going to be fine. The second golden age of the fairies is coming. Well, it will not happen. Look at this! He actually left more space between herself and him. Because she, she despises him. She's Greetings. not showing her ass to him. Well, she is. Maybe she likes that he looks on her ass. He certainly is. She's 
Uh, yeah. Put it out there. So we can all see the magnificence of her bottom. I am very pleased to see you again. Mortals such fascinating things. Yes, you! <laughs> you are fascinating! Uh, and you're very happy. Look at... Got some booty. Okay, goodbye. Booty! My experience with you has convinced me that fell persons, while slightly stupid and aggravating, are not completely useless. Uh, okay. Tell me about yourself. There is no more important nature than that which lusts for battle. Creation and destruction are sisters in the great cycle, both necessary to maintain the balance. Uh -huh. I, knew it. I am the flame that blackens the dirt. The smoke that blocks the sun. My time in the withering war was my finest hour. But those seasons are long past now. Yeah, now you... hunt bogarts in the wilds. <laughs> but tell me about your finest hour. The Summer Court would not stand for the mortal ambitions of Owen, King of the Winter Court. So we burned him, as we burn a dying <laughs> forest in need of mercy. <laughs> uh, she's very bloodthirsty, I like her. If all fairies were like her, I would side with them. Tell me about King Tit. We adore him in every guise. Yet he has a wistfulness that I do not understand. There is no fire in him, only a peaceful pool that goes deeper than any of us realize. I don't think so. I think everyone is just seeing something that it's not there. <laughs> uh. Hello, Drew. How are you? Tell me about the cycle. You fell persons are ignorant, aren't you? The Great Cycle is what gives balance between the eternal conflict of growth and decay. When every Fey passes, he is reborn. As long as the Great Cycle persists, this world we share may continue to refine itself on a path to perfection. Aha! Uh -huh. Path to perfection. All right, tell me about the city. My place is prowling the Fey lands in search of a worthy challenge. Not here, petitioning fools about issues that do not concern me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's talk to her again. Welcome to the trellis, Dustling. This is a sacred walk. You gaze down from heaven upon the ruin that mortals have wrought. Just look at the House of Valor. The crumpled husk of its former self. Is this the fate of all our kind? To be wrong in the hands of the mortal world? To wither and fade? Yes, it is. Good Farewell, bye. young one. Yes, it is. All right. So we need to gather some water. And something else. It's such a difficult quest. Okay. They have to petition and do lines, but I can just waltz in. Maybe it's because I'm the ruler of the What does the talent require? Please place the codex before him, and he will continue. What? What are you talking about? Chancellor, fellow Chancellor. You have nothing to fear in His Majesty's presence. He has entered a reverie. It will allow him to unravel the memories and visions contained within the Codex. Step forward, and His Majesty will reveal what you wish to know. Okay. Goodbye. Uh, ah. ah, this is the main quest. Okay. We won't do this right now. Yes. 
Fuck me! <laughs> they trapped me here! Uh, game, why? Why? They don't want to advance the main quest. Uh, okay, I just saved back there or why I entered here? Let me see. Let me say. Yes! I don't give a shit. Let me see, what is this, summer, summer court, I'm going to, yeah, fuck, yeah, this was just, no, let's see, yeah, yeah, fuck me, alright, wheel is now, there is no way around it, Uh. Hello. Uh, I heard about Haxi. Impressive work. Well, I don't know what you're Grand talking about. Grand as this on. is, I can't help but worry about Hughes. Yeah. Welcome to the High King's Court. Word travels fast, even among the Fey. Tatarian's gone far out of his way for you. He must find you as intriguing as I do. Everyone should find me intriguing. I have no faith, after all. And this world is ruled by faith. So I should be intrigued. Alright, let's loot everything if there is anything to loot. Before we talk to High King Tits. I don't, I don't even remember why I am here. <laughs> or what's the main quest about? What's the reason? He is going out of his way to meet us. The High King will see you now. Well, apparently he will. It's good scene. Treacheries in treacheries. Winter is broken. The puppet king upon his throne, drinking flattery and lies. The power that grows in him is not his own. In the east it did begin, as it will end, as it will end. From behind the veil she screams, madness and rage, madness and rage. We realize this may be confusing for you. Fate, like the Fae, cannot be changed. But the Tuatha are Fae who have become something new. And you are a mortal who is free from Fate's weave. Gadflo claims that the Tuatha are the work of his new god. If the Tuatha are the creations of a god, what does that make you? A god. Okay. 
I'm something new, obviously. Well, that's interesting. So Godflo is not behind this, he's someone behind the veil from the other side. Alright, that's good because I don't like Godflo that much. What fate do you fear, my king? The time of the Fey is passing. Our land and our souls are diminishing. Few Fey even realize that the great cycle is shifted. Gadflow's war means the death of us all, Fey and mortal alike. It is written in the weave that we shall all pass from this world together. It is too late for us, but not for you. That is the fate which I look to you to change. Okay. Well, he's already defeated. <laughs> uh, then what is my purpose? Well, I'm something new, obviously. The power of a god in the brash hands of a mortal. This is why Nerolim fears what you might become. This age has seen much change. Change we once thought was impossible. We were wrong. You are always wrong. That was your ambition. That is how I understand it now. You are intertwined with the power in Alabastra. There can be no doubt of that. We do not know what will happen when you travel there, but we know that the power behind Gadflow is your ultimate goal. His God holds your answer, and the fate of this world. Yeah. No, I'll do it. I'll go and talk to it. Demand? Well, not demand. Request. Unlimited life. If it grants me, I will kill everyone it wants. And we shall rule a world devoid of life. And we shall create our own. <laughs> I thank you. And perhaps you can help change our world's fate as well. No. I have seen those who were destined to be heroes, for whom great deeds came naturally. They come, they act, and they pass on as written. You do great things not because you must, but because you choose to. That is by uh. far a far truer greatness. Not really. The game forces me to do things. So I cannot really choose to complete the main quest. I must complete the main quest. It is only logical. You can't make me fight. Well, he can if he attacks. You are right. <laughs> no one can force this upon you. Such is the true power of freedom. But the Tuatha and their god will continue to seek you out. And they will find you. When they do, know that while you may be unbound by fate, death can find you still. To fight it, you must assemble allies. Seek their aid to assemble your forces. Only then can you hope to resist the forces arrayed against you. Um, this man doesn't like... Synonyms a lot. You must assemble allies. You must assemble uh, an army to have forces. So you can have forces to fight them. Okay. Unwritten one. You are truly a black slate, able to choose your own destiny as witnessed and proclaimed by High King Tit himself. Tell me about the Winter Scott. Our cold cousins across the sea. Do not think the Winter Court our enemies, for we love them as family, dismal though they may be. Oh, to walk in their starlit gardens once again, or sip their calming stone tea. But the Tuatha have consumed them, and all of their wonders are lost. Okay. Oh, how are different? They are from the Duatha. We're different, I should say. The 
summer and winter courts have always ruled the Feylands in harmony, as the seasons wash across the world. But with Gadflo's new god, something changed. The winter Fey who followed him called themselves Tuatha, and bore a mark of Prismere upon them. Their power has grown, and yet they are diminished. Yeah, that's what you would like to believe. Okay, tell me about yourself. Since our kind returned to this world so long ago, it has been my honor to serve as High King of the Summer Court. My rule was always shared with the High King of the Winter Court, until Gadflo arose. Now both of our people are in peril. Okay. Tell me about your court. We are the dreams of warmth and safety, given physical form. But these dreams are endangered by Gadflow in the long winter. The long winter. Where we shall survive by burning the bodies of the Fae. Okay, tell me about God flu. It is the deepest tragedy that our fall should come from our own. Make no mistake, Gadflo is the harbinger of the end of my kind. In fighting him and his army, you will surely spell our doom. For that tragic truth, we forgive you. We forgive me. You forgive me. Okay. What do you know of fate? The weave is a puzzle. Each person is a piece. The edges of their fate locking together with the people around them. All performing their duties to form a grand picture. However, you are no longer a puzzle piece. You are a dollop of paint. You cover and redefine the edges of the puzzle pieces you meet. But more dangerously, you repaint the picture of reality itself. Who can trust that your design is better than the original? I... <laughs> I can trust that my design is better. Because it will pull to me the chair you're occupying right now. That will guarantee this place will be run better than before. I can be certain of that much. Hello, Argoth. Hello, Argoth. I couldn't make out half of what the king was saying, but it sounds like you've got your work cut out for you. Good thing you won't be facing it alone. In fact, I think I've got a lead on finding an old friend of ours. Hmm, the gnome, isn't it? What old friend? Are you speaking about huge boner? Old Felmerus Hughes, of course. Yeah. If anybody can help, it's bound to be the gnome who brought you back to life. I've been asking around and I was able to make contact with his superior. He thinks he might be able to help find Hughes. Well, in fact, he's not my friend. He is my creator, as it turns out. Well, obviously, he's not dead. Who is his superior? All gnome scholars have a Templar who sponsors their research. And apparently, Hughes' sponsor, Templar Octien, is desperate to find him. Go southwest to the Hollowlands and Detir. Octien will be waiting there to discuss how you might reach Hughes. Alright. What the fuck are the Templars? Uh, goodbye. You already told me where she was, but what are the Templars? Who would have thought you were so interesting? Death seems to have worked out very well for you. Agarth's looking for escape. Neuralem's looking for a savior. And Tatarian is looking for a champion. And somehow, you're giving everyone what they want. Yes. I'm impressed. Yes, I'm like a um, <laughs> prism. Everyone looks at me and see what they like. They shall be surprised when I show my true colors. And they shouldn't really put in the Lady of Windymere in the House of Balances. <laughs> as evil as you can get so far. Okay. 
Okay, I need all the support I can get. You're right. This won't be easy. The two Arthur have our forces under siege at Nelson Shear, and their power has only grown over the years. You'll need more help than just me and that old fate weaver. You'll need an army. Yes. An army. How do we get to Gutfield? A few years ago, one warrior could have slipped past unnoticed. But stealth is no longer an option. Not even for me. But there is hope. In the plains of Erethel, there waits a player who has been away from this game for far too long. It is time to contact General Talera. Meet me in the village of Emer, and I will tell you everything. Well, what do you know? They turned upside down the Lord of the Rings. Didn't they? It is basically a Lord of the Rings. I will go into that a little, yeah, in a little bit. Tell me about the great general. General Talera was in charge of our forces to the east in Clurican. But a decade ago, Witch Knight Malwyn and his Tuatha army drove her forces back. Since then, she's been looking for some way to take back the land she lost and regain her honor. You might be just the help she needs. Okay. Goodbye. Be on your way. Yeah. The Lord of the Rings at the very end of the books. The war starts. Greetings, this game, mortal. at the very beginning of the game, the war is already raging for several years. In the Lord of the Rings, you use a stealth to get to the evil land. Here you need an army, which is exactly the opposite of what Gandalf counsels in the Lord of the Rings. He says, gathering an army is foolish. I'm sure this serve as a distraction. I don't trust you, just do this. I understand. You must ah, listen to me. Ah, a marshal. What is it, Grimar? Oh, what's all these circles I'm seeing? No more water. I'm a refugee for your possessions. You must listen to me. Feltown is not to be used. Greetings, Neophyte. Okay. So yeah, they basically turned upside down that particular thing out of the Lord of the Rings. Talk to Jacobson. Well, why not? Let's talk to Jacobson. I don't know who he is, but... Yes, mortal? Yes, mortal. Stop calling me mortal. Or I will kill you. Are you a long way from Feltown? Yes, why should I be there? Welcome to the Lyceum Grove, where the majesty of the font is glorified and regulated. I am Jackson, ah. apprentice to the font master and steward of tinctures and elixirs. Jackson. Jackson. Tell me about the understyle. It may be difficult to believe, but this city was once inhabited only by Fay. No. The understyle consisted of everything growing beneath the font. Uh -huh. Now this important section of the Issa is but a dark corner. All but forgotten. Yeah, it is not difficult to believe. To know the font. Font master Nomeron insists that everything flows as it should. Yet I have seen his worry. And I feel the magic weakening. Strange forces are at work. A powerful forces. Tell me about the master. He has the role of monitoring the font's flow throughout the city and the Feylands. His telling is not to be envied, as it is one of our most important. Alright, tell me about this place. This is where we watch over the font, the source of magic in the gardens of Issa. It is a fountainhead that is nourished for as long as this world has been. 
The font's flow can be measured, directed, and even regulated, depending on the needs of our people. Font master Nomoran attends to these duties. No, I attend to those duties. I am the one doing all this shit. Uh, why does everyone disrespect me? Alright, tell me about you, Jake's. Jake Jackson? Whatever. I am the steward of tinctures and elixirs. A meaningless title, one I gave myself, actually. But my work is vital, <laughs> as is my role, to test the font's magic. <sighs> well... Uh, steward of tinctures and elixirs. Well... Uh, that was very funny. Tell me how it feels, down. I enjoy the mortal world immensely. It adds such texture and color to our experience. Now and then you might find me in your dusting district, taken in the bustle. What do you know? We have a lover of dustlings. I'm looking for Bristletongue. Bristletongue? My boy, that would be something. A mockingbird with the fonts only yield. Of course I will tell you where it is. What would be the fun in refusing? But before I do that, you need to offer me something. Isn't that how you mortals act? One deed for another? As steward of tinctures and elixirs, I often dabble in alchemy, especially with the water from the font. And I need you to drink this potion. All right. Give it here. Good. I will know what this does to the mortal constitution. Go on, big gulps now. None of that sipping. Farewell, mortal. <laughs> Let's hope I do. Okay. I got raped. Or not. That's the potion. What the fuck? A splitting headache. When the darkness fades from your vision. You recall Jackson's words. I will rape you while you sleep. He mentioned something about the bristle groin in a garden high on the font. Unfortunately, your memory of his instruction is blurred and your head begins to pound. Yeah, he... Yeah, he brewed the date's rape potion. That's what he did. Alright. We shall not mention that to anyone! May the cycle keep you. It won't. The cycle means I will be dead. <laughs> well, he is a beard. He had his fun. What the fuck? Shit! Well... I helped the fairies. Now what can you... I didn't think it was going to be that easy. If it isn't the Mockingbird, come in, come in. It's <laughs> always good to hear a fancy chirp. Yeah. Okay. Where are the seeds? Didn't you speak to Barrett? The bristle tongue is outside the court of summer. Okay, goodbye. Walk out. Have fun in your errands. I hope I'll see you again. Uh, what do you train me? Okay. Okay. 
Let's do it. I'll see me again. Ah, hello, Birnami. How are you today? It's Sunday. Uh, ah, great. Yeah. Yes. I'm doing a little marathon today. I decided I would not play, <laughs> not play Neverwinter because it would strain my voice too much. Keep with your own. Talking for several hours in different voices. And since the computer doesn't know where he is anymore. And I had put so many hours into this game already. Why not? Let's advance. Okay, the seeds. There we go. Well, bunch of fetch quests. Always nice to have a change of pace. What is this? Return to Nomero, why not? Fairies. I just made a mistake, but we shall have to deal with the consequences. How is the feel? You've done well, child of the dust. Those below will never know what is really happening. But in the end. Is this a part of the many seasons, or the sudden tempest? Does hiding the rot not spoil the harvest, no? Take this. You're brave. Perhaps we will meet again. <laughs> Holy shit. Perhaps. Goodbye, my friend. Well, he gave me something. Let's take a look. What are the... Empyrean, Dark Empyrean, that's what we need. This is going to be our armor sometime down the line. The Empyrean, okay, let's see. This is a piece of shit. And as such, it will go to the junk pile. Okay. Let's go to the brewery. I'm guessing we're dropping up inside very much. Yeah, pretty much everything is done. I'm quite a rough Fuck. Ah, uh, let's go. What on earth? Why is this? Uh, ah, yeah. Construct them souvenirs for the funky Tolpaha, whatever it is called. Don't trust me. I anyone. don't think I will do that quest, really. Ah. Eh. Yeah, such disgust for mortals. Okay, have your freaking seeds. You've got the seeds. <laughs> now we'll see if the Victor's Brew can stand up to a new challenger. I'll have a batch of Asker's draft ready before the week is out. Take this, friend. And like I promised, the merchants here will give you a discount. You've got a home here in the alley for as long as you like. But I would much more want that you buy things. I'll pay more coin instead of giving me a discount because I don't plan on buying a lot. Tell me about the delegation. Oh, yes, sorry. The United Merchants Delegation. 
It's a coalition of traders that have been granted permission to sell their wares in Issa. Aha. Uh -huh. See you soon. I hope not. I hate you. What do you know? I have almost leveled up. Just by running around like an idiot. Okay, let's go outside. Outside. Or maybe there are trainers here. Detect hidden. Okay. Alchemy. I don't know. No. Let's go on the more big quests. We ask that you do not disturb. You must listen to me. Feltown is not to be used as a refuge oh. for your Outside we go. Into the she, apparently. Quests. Locate the initiates. Locate the initiates. Alright. What's this? From the mirror? Or initiate bullshit? Should I locate the initiates? The three initiates, plague shields, speak to. Ah, uh, yeah, that will be later. Go to the road, meet you, contact. Where should I meet her? Shoot! Fuck! Ah! Uh. In mail a glare. Okay, let's do the initiate stuff. Why not? Why not? Nevertheless, I am surprised the fate of the change at the top of Holy shit, a bugger. Not a bugger, ah, but he's not a evil. <laughs> Still hits my motherfucker. I should start using these shields or something. Okay. They go. So they are all dead. There's... Okay, what the fuck did this happen? Burial ground 
Athenus. What's this? Guess he needs some play a hammer. And about the build. Yeah, he hates those creatures. They can disable me as I can disable them. <laughs> the is gone. If I had a chance, I would snap the person that put the timer in the creature. Snap them right in the face. <laughs> Sure, I'm yeah, I come here. So let's go. Part one. Center. Well, if we can. Ah, there we go. Can I open? Okay. Hey. 